Hello everybody, today I selected John, excuse me, 1st John 5, 4. I'll give you a minute to read it. And I gotta be real, I don't have a real spiritual reason on why I decided this. The Holy Spirit wasn't pressing on me anything other than it's football. And I really wanted to talk about, you know, victory in Jesus because there's victory on the field. And I found this really great digital art piece and I wanted to include it in my Bible. There you go. Sometimes you just want to sit down and create um, and you don't really have a rhyme or reason. Mine was just, I was watching a football game and I thought, you know, I need to do my Bible art journal for today. So here we are. I am using some clear gesso on all of the page because, um, I'm going to be using some ink and some water. I don't want it to leak over into the other pages. Clear gesso, any gesso really not only allows for your medium to apply nicer, it also protects the surface or whatever's under it. So nothing seeps through. I am a big fan of clear gesso. If you really want to let those words or text or pictures or whatever you're working on shine through, always use clear gesso because it won't cover it up. Whereas white will. My intention with this was like the Friday night lights. My son played football and it was always, you know, in the evening. And so I wanted to do something that was at night, the tribute to like the high school games, you know, like the Friday nights, how you would go to the football games. So I'm trying to do a sunset theme here and I'm just using some Simon Hurley ink and I'm blending it through. I'm starting off with some of the warmer tones and then I'm going to work my way up into some cooler tones. This can be risky because this is a, it can't, since it's blendable ink that I'm using here, you can end up with mud when you are mixing your, your cools and your warm tones. However, I try to be really careful with mixing, like that's a pink right there. So I go over it with like the purple and then the blue and then a black um, because I know that pink will blend nicer with that than um, uh, the orange will. If I put orange and purple together, I'm gonna get mud. So I'm just playing with it a little bit here. Um, hindsight 2020, I wish I would have gone in with clear skies and done like a daytime type theme. I think it would have been better, but oh well, it's done. Moving on. It was fun. The whole process was fun. But um, anyway, this is how I just kind of blend it all on through and I just build, 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 build. Once I get the purple in, I go in with some midnight blue. This is a beautiful dark blue and I just blend that in. I know that blue will work with purple as will red. Those are your two safest colors with purple. But I will say this, the Simon Hurley ink, I very rarely ever get mud. So I'm pretty impressed with how well it the purple blends. I don't know what it is about his ink. It's, um, I don't know, it just works really nice. And then finally I go in with this darker it's like a grayish black just to give that night feel to it and then from here I just continue to kind of darken up and I work my way all over the page going back and forth with the different ink colors until I get it pretty dark because I'm going to want to splatter it with a little bit of water what that water does is it not only lifts some of that color, but it also gives like a star look to it. I just like how it moves it around, but I'm not quite, it needs more. Like it doesn't quite look like the sky to me yet. So I'm gonna go in with my clear sky at this point and rub that on through, just trying to make it look more like a night sky. Once I get it to my liking, again, I go in with the water, mist it on, 
and lift some of that color up again. What I like about the ink is it's pretty forgiving. So I can keep going in on this and adding colors and whatnot and get it to the point where I really like it. Make sure that when you heat set, you always do the backside too, um, just to make sure you get it nice and dry. And then I'm gonna go in and add the stars by dabbing on some of that white acrylic gloss spray from Dina Wakely. This is the trick to creating a galaxy or nighttime backgrounds, is you have to have little stars, and stars are not perfect in the sky, so the best thing to do is to flick white paint, or in this case, acrylic glo um, gloss. Once again, I gotta get that all dry before I move on to the next step. And the next step, it's a little bit tricky because I need to make sure that um, I can adhere, I wanna collage those images on, but I don't wanna necessarily mess up my background. And since it is a dye base, it does react with moisture, which means it will slightly smear. So as I put down my medium there, and I'll have it listed for you down below, I'm going up, and that way it's just pulling everything up. So it's not gonna smear it too bad. This is also going to allow it to seal. And if I was a patient person, which I'm not, when I lay this down, I could walk away from it, let it dry, and then go ahead and add that final coat over the top of it. I like to do two coats on these because I really want it to be sealed in and like become one with the Bible page. Um, but I'm not a patient person, and you'll see that in a minute. I'm creating this collage. This is a really simple page as far as what I'm doing with the digital art here. Um, I'm just I'm just laying it out. I'm, I'm not doing anything that's spectacular on it. Uh, it was more about the background and the images than anything else. And like I said, yeah, my scripture base, I, I did throw in a scripture there. But really, I'm just having fun watching football, praising God, and doing my Bible study. Um, and I don't think we always have to complicate it, you know, so that's kind of what I did and, and whatnot. But anyways, you can see I'm going in right now and some of that is picking up the ink and it's smearing onto my images. So let's ju just learn from my, my thing right there. And I knew that was going to happen. I don't know why I didn't just walk away, right? You wouldn't have known. I mean, it's not going to, you wouldn't have had to wait two hours like I did to see the process. But anyway, I didn't. I was impatient and I wanted to get it sealed in. So if you want to use dye ink base, um, collage over it, just make sure that you kind of swipe up like I did with your medium first. Then you're gonna lay your collage pieces on, smoosh it in with your fingers as best as you can, walk away from it, and then go ahead and uh, do another layer of that clear medium on over it, and you'll have a beautiful collage that won't have little, you know, smear marks from your ink so anyway if you're interested in anything i used please 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 check out my links down below if you enjoy content like this go ahead and subscribe to my channel and if you have any questions or comments please feel free to ask me down below i'll do my best to get back to you um i have kind of changed the the look of my channel i am doing more bible art journaling i've stepped away from some of the other stuff not to say that that won't come back but i really want to predominantly get into this this is kind of where my life is life journey right now and so um yeah if you guys have any recommendations or ideas of what i can do in my bible if you can let me know i would i would really love it um because i'm just taking you along on this journey on this ride with me anyway my name is Bets golden and um thanks for stopping by give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and please feel free to share until next time happy crafting